Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today is going to be my last haul video until 2023. I'm doing a no buy art supply in 2022, so I just want to show you the very last things I have picked up and maybe why. So back in 2019, I decided I wanted to start documenting all the ways that I create and do things towards my long-term goal of just being a better illustrator. So I bought this planner, it shipped from Estonia. I got this on Etsy and I'll link everything down below in case you're curious. But the pages are a blank weekly spread and then in the back it's a dot grid. And I never realized how useful dot grids are for making charts and lists and I've been using it for all, I've done about six drawing challenges back to back. And so it's really helped me stay organized. So I needed to buy some planners for next year. And I opted to go with the Hobonichi Weeks and I ordered this directly from them. So this shipped from Shiba Japan and this is the Techno Weeks and it has the monthly spread in the front and then it goes to the week and then I'll probably do my designs and doodles on this side. And then in the very back, I have things sort of divided out, are blank graph paper grids. And this is just a very thin one. I got the one that's tie material. It's literally made out of neckties and it's tigers with little tiny red parrots. And these ones are on the tail. And I got the cover because my desk is always messy from drawing. So that is what I bought to get me through 2022. And then I went on Archer and Olive back in May because I wasn't sure if I was going to burn through all of the dot grid on this one. And I bought this huge one that's snakes. So this is what I'll be using to, for lists and drawing challenges to keep me organized. And I'm really hoping this lasts for at least two to three years. I got the extra thick one. And I love snakes, they're beautiful. So because I am not going to be purchasing anything in 2022, I'm going to need something for 2023. And I got this from Gallon Leather, and this actually shipped from Istanbul, Turkey, and this is that Tomo River paper, and it's completely blank. So I figure we're gonna get real weird with it in 2023, and I look forward to that. And if you're noticing a theme, I'm having a bit of a, a green, a green phase in my life. Um, we also homeschool, thank you COVID. And I have a traveler's journal. This is kind of a knockoff one that's more affordable, but we're on our third um, edition of the blank monthly calendar. And this is awesome. It has about a dozen blank pages in the back and then blank monthly pages inside. And this has been perfect for keeping track of our homeschool records. This is about as small as I can go and about as big as I want to store long term. So this has been wonderful and this is super customizable with all the different inserts and things you can use. Now let's get to the art supplies. So I wanted to buy some better light fast watercolors. This is a tin I got off Etsy. Again, I'm clearly going through something, something green, something green. And I purchased from Cheap Joe's. They were having a sale. And I apologize if you suffer from the dysphonia, the repetitive noises. I had that one too. <clears throat> oh my goodness, everything is so sealed. And I'll probably put this on the floor and my cats will just sit on it and pop it all day and it'll be hilarious for everyone involved. So here are tons and tons of light fast watercolors I got for mixing and color theory, commissions, gifts. As you can see, it is a variety of companies. <clears throat> no one company makes the best everything. So when somebody says, oh, what do you prefer? M. Graham to Daniel Smith, it actually depends on the pigment. Um, I'm one shy. I ordered one that they didn't have in stock, but they'll ship to me when it arrives. I will be putting these in pans and combining them to create some really interesting colors. 
Um, here's Verdian Lunar Black and Mazalone Lemon. This is Manganese Blue Lake. This is Da Vinci Red Lunar Earth Quinacrinone Coral. This is Cyan Blue. This is the bluest blue you can kind of get. Here is Cobalt Teal Blue. Here is that May Mari Blue, um, and this is Potter's Pink. Here's the Hodrum Aquarelle. I have these in a pan. Here is Ultramarine Finest. Um, here is, uh, this is Helios Purple. Here is a uh, French Ultramarine. Here is Nickel Azo Yellow and a Burnt Umber. So I will be using these in videos coming up to show you really cool combinations of some of the convenience colors that are hues, which are more than one pigment in the tube. Those aren't light fast. So I'll be showing you light fast ways to make some of those convenience colors that are beautiful. So this was a couple hundred dollars <laughs> legitimately, but I'm really hoping these last a full five to six years and they will more than pay for themselves with commissions on Etsy and things like that. So these are the watercolors. I purchased some more polychromos in colors I use a lot of. So the, it's the 10% warm gray, the cream. I have a sepia, I believe, a walnut brown. Mm, this blue I use a lot of. This is cobalt turquoise and then indigo. So I got two colored pencils. I got more of the A6. These were from Amazon. These are the Electrum 180 gram and they discontinued their 180 gram paper. But I went through two of these this year. One I did insects and hand lettering and the second one I've done fungi mushrooms. So I wanted to get a couple more for um, doing realism. It's really it's much quicker and easier and less intimidating if you work small. Do a really, really small size. And as you can see, this is about the size of my hand. So I really like, the paper is not the highest quality, but I like the size and I really like the color cover. I have a thing with color, I love color. I also got, this is the Stillman Burn Beta Series. So this is the 270 gram white paper that's cold press and you can see the chart on the back of which ones are the 270 so the green one that's delta is ivory um, the zeta that's purple is hot press it's smooth but also white paper and i have a couple others of these i'm just not sure because i'm going through this year about eight sketchbooks i'm trying to make sure that i have at least eight for next year um, my goal is going to be probably to go through 10 because the A4 size is so huge that I can do two drawing challenges in one huge A4. But that'll be my goal. And then I got this. This is an etcher. It's a watercolor. And as I won't be using these in here. These will be on my 600 gram arches paper for commissions. But let's see if I can open this up with my with my nails today. There's a seam I can get to. Oh, I'll grab some scissors. Anyway, I got the cold press. I've never used Etcher sketchbooks before, but they're 100% cotton and I really like that. So, it's a lot of plastic. <clears throat> Can she get inside the box? Okay. And within there is another plastic. So this is, you can see a little tiny camel stitched in. This looks like linen cover. And I probably will paint on this linen cover and do some sort of wash and add color to it. But this is my last art supply haul. This is the last of my organization for everything. 
This is the last for planners, for everything. So everything I have has to last through to January of 2023. I think I have enough stuff. I, I'm in good shape. I really, really look forward to the challenge. And I've done a video as to why I'm doing a no buy art supply. And I've done a video as to the rules of my no buy art supply. And those are pretty strict. I'll link those videos down below. This Sunday, I'm going to do a video that is my temptations. Like what are the things that absolutely make me click and buy and keep searching and exploring and wanting to purchase. And there's some things that I think we may have in common and there's some things that are probably just exceptions to me maybe. And then there's some things that I had to like go through my bank statements and really analyze and go, oh, that's a temptation and I didn't even acknowledge that. Like it didn't even occur to me. So I definitely have some like places where I go and purchase things that lead me to buying more art supplies. So that's absolutely fascinating. So I look forward to that video Sunday. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.